Okay, we've got a side-by-side -side image of thermal infrared on the left, visible light on the right, a hygrometer, not very accurate, but it's 60% RH. You can see on the bottom relative humidity. Uh, you can see the bird infrared on the left is basically ambient. There is, the head's not cool, so it's not moving. Once it gets cool, well, we'll give him a drink, it'll condense the methylene chloride vapor in that, and it'll cause the bottom of it to to expand and push the methylene chloride liquid up the neck, gets out of balance and causes it to dip, keeps the head wet. Once it dips, it breaks the seal and uh, the process starts all over again. So this will keep working as long as the humidity is reasonably low. Right now we're about, according to this anyway, 60% RH. And uh, but if humidity goes up, it will slow down and stop working because the head will not be cool enough to make it work. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some uh, uh, wet sponges around it and wet the, the uh, paper towel under it and cover it and get the humidity up and see what that does to the, to the bird. And it should stop drinking, and I think that's probably uh, what you'll see happen here. So we're going, it's going to be out of the frame here, so you won't be able to see all the sponges, but uh, we'll add those. We'll speed it up, and, uh, and uh, you can take a look at it. Now, as you watch, the uh, humidity is already going up, and 62%. Uh, it'll continue to go up as I add more wet sponges. I'll put a plastic cover over the top of it, uh, put some saran wrap over the front of it, and as the humidity goes up, it'll start to slow down. So it's already slowing down, about 70% RH, um, and uh, 72 is really starting to slow down now. And uh, see the humidity will continue to go up at 73 percent, really slowing down. And uh, see, we'll get it to about 76, 77 percent. It basically will stop working, and that's what you've got now. Methylene chloride has stopped moving. Um, it still shows it a little bit cool on the on their infrared, but it's a, it's uh, it's not cool enough to make it work. What we're going to do just to continue to prove this is we're going to leave everything as is, but take away all the wet sponges and take the cover off and start dropping the humidity in it, and he should start drinking again. So we'll do that here in just a second. We're going to speed that up. It's already starting to drink again just by getting the cover off. Even though the humidity on the hygrometer is still reasonably high, but uh, but it makes a big difference just getting the cover off of it. As you can see, it's work, starting to work more normal, and uh, as the humidity comes on down, it'll it'll work like it's supposed to. So anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this. You know, the best way to stop a drinking bird from drinking without touching it is increase the humidity. And if you want me to start drinking again, decrease the humidity. So, hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please click on the subscribe button and, uh, and check out the links to our other videos. Thank you for watching. We appreciate it.